Okay, problem 4.4.15, lesson 4, 4. Add these two fractions. So if you listen to the overview video, you would know what the, you got to get a common denominator. In this case, we already have it. So we keep our denominator the same. And just combine like terms in the numerator. 7x and 8x makes 15x in my example. 14 and 11 is 25, but then you also need to double check that you aren't going to reduce this by factoring. So in the numerator, what you're supposed to notice there then is that these both are divisible by 5. So then that would leave a 3x plus 5. And so when you look carefully again, you should notice that 3x plus 5 divided by 3x plus 5 is going to cancel, divide out to a 1, whatever. 5 times 1 is for your final answer here on mine of a plain 5. So the correct solutions here um, would be that you have to get 5 for your answer. And then remember, the denominator can never equal 0. So 3x plus 5 cannot be 0, or you would have been dividing by 0 in the original problem. So what answer can x not be? Subtract a 5. Divide by that 3, so x cannot equal in this box right here for my problem a negative 5 thirds. So that's the way you do those. Combine your like terms. Make sure you consider what numbers need to be excluded. You can't be dividing by 0 when you're working with fractions. So no zeros, so no zeros allowed in denominators.